Just when you thought daddy was done in 2022, daddy is back. Oh man, we've got a mummer's tomb or part of it. Oh, wrestling bootlegs. Oh man. Oh my God. Blah, 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 bro. We have made it to the basement. Similar to upstairs, there's stuff everywhere. <laughs> Just when you thought daddy was done in 2022, daddy is back. And I am all sorts of revved up, more so than a Tyco remote-controlled car, because for one last time this year, we are going toy hunting, and I am sitting outside right now of the Imperial Castle Year, right here in Pauling, New York. This store has come highly recommended by several folks in the community, it is supposed to be a very heavy vintage toy shop. From everything that I've been told, from everything that I have seen and read online, it looks absolutely fantastic. I am very excited to check this place out. It also has a nice mix of modern stuff as well. And of course, in true TMC fashion, we are going to have a classic store tour, store crawl. We are going to crawl through every inch of this place. You know Daddy delivers with the store tours. And that is what we are going to do once again here today. Additionally, this store also buys toys. So I did bring some stuff with me. We're going to test out their store credit policy as well and see if we can potentially get some nice credit, hopefully find something that we're looking for, and then Daddy doesn't have to actually spend any new money today. So why don't we go check this place out right now? I am done talking. Let's go inside and see what they got. Here is a shot of the storefront in case anyone is wondering what it looks like. Looking promising. I see Star Wars on one window and Motu on the other. I definitely like the looks of that. And I definitely like the looks of that. Requisite shot of the store before we start digging in here. Looking very juicy. Oh, so this goodness. place is crawling yeah. with stuff. It's Fair enough. everywhere. <laughs> this is the display right off the entrance here. And Let me take a look. right off the bat, hey, what's up, Mama? we've got vintage box Joes, some modern Neko Team and Tea. Is that why you're calling me for real? Mortal Kombat helmets, which I've never seen in person. Okay. It's kind of cool. Got some Lucy's, first sign of Lucy's. Transformer stuff. Roto Force. Off to the right, look what's in here Pinocchio. And Pee Wee Herman. Uh, off chance I have them in Vintage the back, box. I let them look, but unfortunately, I do not. Someone oh, must have this. Them. I'm okay. sorry. What are these? Uh, We're already the speaking movie. my language. So the latest one that came out, um, they uh, already looking at things that I may want to buy. So Toxic Crusaders. That way you can kind of make them a little cuter and stuff like that. Oh man. Are you looking for a uh, boxed oh, okay. vintage Playmates and Toy Biz? Within 30 oh, seconds of being here, already dangerous. As cute as those are, I normally go really slow through these stores, down. as you guys already know, but we're going to have to go extra slow because I'm already seeing that it's like every inch of this place has something in it, and it's <laughs> looking like it's very cool. Flipping around into Kenner Star Wars, loose. Some ESB stuff, a new hope, Lucy's in great condition, too. Wow, numbered awesome. This is already we're off to a very good start. I actually need a minty Han, I don't like that stuff on his little paint chip on his head, but wow. 
Prune face. Oh man, there's just a lot. Look at this. Dengar. Looking pretty minty. The KB sign. Sign. KB sticker. Oh man. Look at this. This is. <laughs> already uh, this is going to be bad for my wallet I am so glad that I brought stuff to trade in because I can already tell you I'm going to spend a lot of money here um 007 so we are definitely in a uh, vintage pocket here in the store look at this Card over. Do you have the Wi-Fi? Double Donkey Kong. I wonder if this marquee lights up. This is awesome. Wonder how much You're this awesome. is. Thank you so much. Don't know that I see a, a wonderful new year. Thank you. Do you need a sign or anything? For a price tag, I mean. Got some Coleco Sectars. First Coleco sighting. Wonder if he's got the hive playset anywhere. Well, I'm thinking something's wrong. Oh, man. And literally, my wife called me to Look at all do this an stuff. Of Jennifer Coolidge. The first from, case, from, Hudson uh, sighting. Uh, oh, Fox. man. I'm like, okay. <laughs> oh, the Twilight Island. This place already. Got some Dick Tracy playmates. Very cool. Let's get a little closer. Loose, Remco, Karate Kid, I really want one of those play sets. Some Street Sharks, Bucky O'Hare, SNES, I mean this is Shogun Warriors, oh man, I know my buddy the Jersey Geek is going to be into this, I mean, I. they look pretty good, you know, all things considered, pretty good condition, Tiger Force Joes. Oh my God, right in front of my face. I actually didn't even... The Punisher van, this looks like it's in really good condition. At least the side of it. Definitely gonna have to check that out. The decals look good. Oh man, I might I might have to take that home with me, honestly. Uh, let's see. Let's not miss anything here. Toxic Crusaders stuff, loose. I love how it's just like hanging out on top of this. <laughs> arcade this is definitely my kind of store can tell you that already oh yeah another detail here vintage that wonder woman bend and flex very cool to see that some army ants yeah army ants from hasbro more toy biz don't need this but it's just kind of Vintage oh, it's the Sega, the Game Gear uh, carrying case. I had one of these as a kid. I still have it. It's mint with my uh, blue Game Gear. <laughs> That's very cool. Man, we're like 10 feet into this place, and there's just it's packed with stuff. Wow. Very, very cool. Um, how much did you Cabbage Patch Kids? Yeah, My you goodness like gracious. Shira. Or how big is the awesome. With the castle. Do a, uh, do a squish mallow. Wow. Or do the magic mixies. They are hot, trendy, and... Too bad it's not so you don't go bananas, but here, right vintage here. gray skull. Would have immediately taken off the top of that detail. So basically, you have this little cauldron... <laughs> So it makes all of these things do something. Wow. Very cute, very trendy. Or do uh, you could do one of the squish mallows right here. These are extremely popular, but they have no purpose. Yeah, okay, so you already know. Some vintage uh, team and tea. Or the Pets Alive Unicorn. This reacts to sounds and stars. Not her thing. Gotcha. 
Some real Ghostbusters. How do those look? Pretty good, actually. Need that firehouse. Oh man, Potato Head Kids. <laughs> I remember these. Oh man, are those like. Like each one oh, those, are those superpowers like variants or something? I think they are. Yeah, they are. Colombian release. Spidey, Superman, Hulk. I have to check those out at some point. Wow. Knight Rider from Jade Toys. Wow. This is Sensory Overload. Kenner Star Wars. Definitely gonna have to take a closer look at this case. Once we're done with the tour uh, here, sure. yeah. I need some you crash dummies. No. Oh, come on. No, you are so some nice Star Wars stuff. What's this, Mr. Machine? Yeah. On the floor here. Uh, oh man, we've got a Mumra's tomb, or part of it, it looks like. Man, how much is that? One twenty four ninety nine. Mm. Mm hmm. Beggars can't be choosers with that. That's a beefy part of the piece, and it looks pretty good too. Let's go back up there for a second. The stickers look pretty clean, you know. Oh yeah. Well, I did. I every time I go to Duncan, I would pay for the person behind me for hmm. years. Got a line over there. Nice Super little, Seven. Uh, you know, it's always just a nice thing. Yeah. He Man and some vintage Motu here. Ooh, that tongue lasher looks good. Yeah, he looks pretty good. Skeletor. These all look like they're in pretty good condition. Oh, that loose Mumra. Have him on card, but that one in the back looks really nice. Taking mental notes here. A party wagon. How does that look? It's good. I mean, the, you know, the stickers are faded, but they're in good shape. It's a lot to take in here. Some graded Kenner stuff, Indiana Jones. Didn't really ever see that. All AFA too, which is good. Oh, look at that penguin, Migo. Vintage Migo, jeez. See some wrestling down there. Some LJN, we'll get to that in a sec. And some Joes, vintage Joes. Biker mice from Mars, from Gloob. You don't really see those too often. And we've got a pack of LJN wrestling. Some Hasbros down there. Man, got a ring too. It's chilling up there. Throw some LJNs in there. <laughs> oh boy, it's a lot of stuff. It's just one corner of this place. Some loose Joe vehicles. Loose complete. Looks like on a lot of those, here's some Loose Joes. Everything loose in, it looks like this case and the one on the other side with the Star Wars stuff, all look to be, all the figures look to be in really good condition. And they're come like ready to display, like you can just 
if you're uh, displaying them on your wall, just pop them in just like that. It's pretty nice. Ghost Hawk. Oh, man. Oh, baby. Havoc. Boxed. Some Beanie Babies. That fad from the 90s. Got a little... Again. This is going to be one of those days. It's not a bad thing, but... Modern case right there. More Joes. 25th anniversary stuff. So you're getting the many generations of Joes right here in this corner. And moving on down, more modern stuff. DC McFarlane. Ooh, what's, what is this? What are you guys doing for oh, wrestling bootlegs. Oh, man. It's not always a bad thing. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm man. <laughs> I'm going to... Oh, for dude. I mean, come on. Oh, boy. Oh, daddy is home. Wow. <laughs> I'm definitely picking up some of these bootlegs. Good Lord. That's so awesome. Primal Age above that. Funku. No interest in that. Oh, too bad. I would love to have this card. Uh, yeah, it's a little paint rub on the girdle there. Would love to find this carded on a banged up card so I can just open it. <laughs> uh, here's a another shot. Oh, the ring, LJN ring with Roddy Roddy Piper. Now we're heading down the first hallway here. So I I never told him for sure that I was coming home for Christmas. I just said during winter. Something you don't really see all too often. Super strength thing. Superman and friends. It's pretty cool. I'm thin guy, so I'm Ben Grimm guy, so that's going to be always going to be tempting for me, Rhino. And Playmobil. Shout out to my buddy, 1000th uh, Ghost. I, was just watching, uh, the Home Alone I get tempted by some of the Playmobil stuff from back in the day, but got to try to keep some sort of focus. Board games here, Twister, Jumanji, whole row of that. What's over here? Some uh, more Playmobil. And true exclusive Marvel Legends. They, they just wanted to stay home. Some <laughs> Legends Lucy's. It was uh, like negative twenty. In the, that would. I was just gonna say you might. I think Very I cool. Played your hand a little bit on this one. Good intentions. Turn so, back. So they just didn't want to go. Down and head to the back of the store here. Apparently, there's also a downstairs as well with a ton of stuff, which I don't know that we're going to get to today. Oh, look at this Lego setup. Got a Star Destroyer. Yeah, looking good. Sail barge. Very nice. And a ton of minifigures. Um, I have mentioned this on the channel before. I I will always, always consider myself a big Lego guy, even though I'm not collecting anymore, but I used to have a display of minifigures just like this in my old apartment way long before YouTube. Um, and I, I, I love Lego. Shout out to all the Lego guys out there. We've got another wall of what looks to be a lot of vintage. Playmate Star Trek I see here. Oh, and I remember these. I used to have this. That's like a seven, eight-year-old release. He was always very hard to find. Some World of Warcraft, Mars Attacks. Toy Biz Marvel Legends. Had a lot of these recently. Did away with them. I love... Oh, wow. That's actually really... Nicely priced there. The prices so far, from what I've seen, have been really fair. Actually, really good. Um, I have mentioned it in some of my recent hunts. Tempted to get into the Playmate Star Trek, but there are other things that take precedence over 
that right now, but it is cool to see and very tempting. What do we got down here? Got some spawn. Devil man. Oh, bro. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yikes. I might have to take a harder look at that. I will definitely be taking a harder look at that. Some 2000X Motu stuff. Some Indiana Jones. More Toy Biz Marvel. Oh, man. Definitely going to be doing some digging over here. What's back here for Toy Biz Marvel? Uh, I love this place. Spoiler alert. <laughs> um, wow. All right. So that's this wall. Is there anything else down here? We got games, video games. SNES. Xbox. SNES. I just said that. NES. <laughs> right here. Looks like some Sega games. What's back here? Anything catching my eye? Sonic 2. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Mortal Kombat. Jurassic Park. Uh, Tecmo Super Bowl. Where's Kadash? Kadash gets no love. I would have been really impressed if there was Kadash here. Got some NES games as well. I know Mr. Fantastic is going to love this section. Let me get a little closer here. In case you guys want to screenshot that and take a look, Ski. Got a Genesis here for 80 bucks. I, I had mine up until... Actually, I might still have it. A couple of Sega Genesis game, uh, consoles. And then some cases. It's got a demented-looking, cracked-out Harley. Oh. There's a gray skull. There is a gray skull. Um, how's the back of this look? Not bad, the usual rub in the typical places, but the outside looks pretty good. We're not gonna open this up just yet, but um, it's a little dinged up right there. You guys can see that. Yeah, that's okay, cool to see that. Moving on down, more LJNs loose here in the boxes. Oh, Toy Biz. What do we have here? Ooh. Ooh, mamacita. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. I... I love that there's Toy Biz here. It's a rogue. Back there? Transformers Armada. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Another Gray Skull 2. Um. Oh, my God. Bubba, bubba, bro. Bubba, bubba, bro. What is the deal with this? I have no Secret Wars figures, which I'm trying to track down, but... Um, wow. Oh, Daddy might have to. This place is freaking amazing. Just a bunch of random stuff here. Um, some cases. Take a look at that. And it looks like... I don't know... If, Daddy's not going to go snooping. Got a checklist there. But, oh, crap. There's, oh, man. Um, no, this is clearly the basement. I haven't had clearance to go down there, so we won't, but, oh, man, this place is freaking awesome. Um, okay. Let's keep moving. I see some stuff already catching my eye over here. Got a bat wing? up a little bit. See a slave one. So I inspected one, but I have another one I haven't opened yet. Okay. Do you Some know Simpson stuff. I 
Transformers up here. Oh, oh baby. Oh, oh baby. Oh mother. I, so I remember seeing this at um, a train and toy show over by me at the Westchester County Center years ago with my dad. And the dude wanted way too much. And this box is way better, in way better condition. Dude, it is cool. I never, uh... Oh, man. Look at that. Add it to the list of things I'm potentially going home with. Another case of loose vintage. My God, man. Some Wizard of Oz stuff down there. Does the backpack come with the... Crawling this place with stuff. Magneto up here. Jesus. Starting lineup stuff. Right. Toy Biz Lord of the Rings. Down here. Right. But when you get so wait, but the has pretty that, awesome. That you, you're talking about the has and then over here, so will that attach more Star to Trek, Deep Space okay, Nine this the time. That Ron that. E. Yes. That, yes. That's what I wanted to make sure. Some Barbie. I was like a little unsure. The Barbie wall the here. Wow. Ron. Sure like been told when I had a man bun, I looked like Mulan. I don't know if I appreciate that. Yeah, Jones up there. I know some of these miscellaneous parts. I could, like, I, I, I knew the only one to pop off in my head. More vintage. Well, this is Tracy. This is from uh, Magneto from, uh, this is the Magneto. What's down here? Magneto what do we have down here? Um, oh, my God. Is, All the big the, toy the, the pieces, man. Jeez oh, Louise. Be careful what you ask for, Sentry. Goodness gracious, great balls of freaking Kaksaki. Power, the Jedi. Oh man, I am already mentally, physically, and emotionally exhausted. Take a look at this. Got some dinos. Oh man, look at that. Wow. Okay, oh, seriously? I don't think I actually, you know what's funny? I think I got in some, but like, it's I all like... I kinda may need to pick that up too. To like, I don't even make it my business anymore. Yeah, he, uh, uh, let's he not miss this he, he other case. Christmas Trolls, Christmas. Star Trek. Oh, that's awesome. Oh. Is that a Coleco Rambo I see? Oh, man. Oh. Do it. What, uh, a little what too jimmied up for me, but very cool to see that. Oh my goodness gracious. There's stuff everywhere in this place. Literally. Everywhere. Got a Lego display right here. Very nice. Okay, we're going to walk back. We still need to get to that corner, so we are going to try and do that right now and instead of just cutting to that corner i'm gonna just walk you guys through this place because there's just i'm sure i missed something here's a wall of pops um let's see merry christmas to me what is this just a loose bunch of hot wheels it's looking like it yeah hot wheels cases over there and over here too. I mean, I wouldn't buy. I mean, I would like them, but I mean, I would sell them for about wow. twenty-five to thirty bucks. So I mean, you know. I mean, now we're back at the this, I mean, in the Playmobil slash board games area. Let's see. Man, I love these. I'm definitely taking some of those home. It's awesome. And this is. The front stand. Right when you walk in, by the door. What if I did this? What if I oh, took man. thirty dollars wow. off of that for this? Look at that. Because I'll, I like him. He's. I mean, there this you have it. Kind of right, right. I mean, and then take the other half of the helmet. You can just have that on one of the Wow. So okay. take the helmet, and we'll take that from one forty oh, down to one oh nine, and I'll okay. just eat the thirty for this stuff. Okay. That work? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Great. Deal. Thanks, John. No, no worries. That's a sky striker. I would. Oh, and then, uh, and then we found something for our, oh, we take home. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. 
forget the uh, the Haslab. Here's the other corner that I just pointed out a few moments ago. Got a Y wing box. Wow. Wow! 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 wow. Uh, Micronauts. Well, another wizard doesn't find it. Take a look at that. Oh my God! Captain Power from the Oh Jesus. Land of the Lost. This is. This is another hot corner right here, as far as I'm concerned. Wow. It's, you could easily miss so much if you don't go slow in this place. T2. Definitely interested in this from Kenner. Yeah, I'm going to have to go through these. Awesome. Look at that. A whole peg of Kenner T2. Oh, baby. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm taking so much freaking crap home today. Got a carrying case. Ooh, this, look, this is mint. It's still got wrap around it. This is mint. It's mint. Did I mention that it's mint? A Barbie box down there. Wow, bro, some spawn. Oh, man, a charger pack. More box Joe's shares dressing room. Anyone interested in that? Freaking Millennium Falcon, seriously. And some vintage uh, Panthors here. Wow. So cool to see all of this. Wow. Incredible. This is the front side of the modern case. I remember when that came out. I'm not sure how you're going to feel about this, but the original Avengers. And that brings us back to the front of the store. <laughs> and that, folks, is going to do it for this store tour, store crawl. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to now figure out what I'm going home with. Definitely something. Definitely a lot. And I will see you guys back at the car. Just kidding. We are not done. We have made it to the basement. John was kind enough to let me come down here. And here we are. Uh, first impressions, similar to upstairs, there's stuff everywhere. So why don't we start digging in right now? What do we got? Some Austin Powers, Tick, some Super 7 Motu, Flintstones. This is right off the stairwell here, as you can see. And then just a random... Stridor, some spawn, vintage spawn. And now we are greeted with the first table of loose stuff. I see Coleco Rambo. Bro. Just sitting, just sitting here. So I'm looking for, in 2023, Coleco Rambo is something that, one of the vintage lines I'm gonna be working on. So it's definitely cool to see that. Are these, is that a play school, definitely dinos? I think that is. Shout out to my buddy, Chad Ploof, who's got all of that. He's pretty much got everything. And now we've got this, just cases, walls, of stuff. I mean, this is totally insane and completely sensory overload. Let's go over here, I guess. Oh, sitting here. Boxes of, oh my God, more bootleg freaking, <laughs> more bootleg wrestling figures. Ah, oh, the wrestle champions. Actually, these two were not upstairs. So, three. We're not upstairs. Oh, this is crazy. This is friggin' absolutely nutty stuff. We had him upstairs. Who's this? Who's this? I want the Galaxy Heroes and the Galaxy Warriors and stuff. Oh, man. Need him. All right. So we've already found stuff we're going to be taking back upstairs with us. Man. 
look at this. I see Toy Biz over here. Oh, yeah. The mutant Cycle. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm so glad I brought stuff to trade in because I am going home with a lot of stuff today. Look at this. Green Goblin. Oh, man. Moving on down. Loose section here. Some Remco Karate Kid. More Remco stuff. Motu. Oh, man. I can't believe this thing is here. Almost complete. That is legit. A legit photon. Wow. A little sticky, too. Got another Mumra. Loose back there. Some Joe vehicles. Man, this is just insane, guys. Yeah, absolutely insane. I wonder what's in there. You know, who knows? Um, parts of a Technodrome. Oh, loose Motu. Jeez, gonna have to go through this. Oh my good lord. Um wow. I I really I am speechless. I there are there's nothing like this by me. Look at this. We are in the toy dungeon right now. Look at the pack of stridors back there. We'll hit that in a sec. Let's check. This wall, more Toy Biz, animated Batman. Oh, yes, dude, yes, yes. I was looking for him upstairs. He was the only one. This is the one that I wanted the most, and he was not upstairs. Just need that endoskeleton. But the rest are all upstairs. Awesome. We are taking this home with us. Have that saber tooth, some Hercules, Toy Biz, awesome stuff. What do we have here? Gideon. Jeez. Okay. Let's keep going. Oh, there you have it. Another one. Sky Strikers galore here. Moving on down, more vehicles. Joe Palooza. Wow. Looks like we have some storage back here. Bunch of boxes. More loose stuff. I just stepped on some grating. <laughs> and look at this. More loose vintage. It's everywhere actually looking for, I mean, forget the Joes, but I'm looking for some Hasbro uh, Mortal Kombat. I would love to find that. I don't know why I say Mortal Kombat. More loose stuff. <laughs> Could be here all day. I have been here just about all day. Um, amazing. Toxic Crusaders. Loose vehicles. Just a bevy of weapons to choose from. Whatever you need, whatever you're missing. Oh my goodness. Got some Star Wars stuff over here. I have a dark pocket, so hopefully you guys can see some of this stuff. Okay. Sidious and a Royal Guard. Leia, Mace Windu. Very cool. Some micro machines down here. With other loose stuff. Just a pile of 
Crap. <laughs> what is this? A pile of awesome crap. Let me correct myself. And take a look at this. Army building stridors. Some battle cats, panthor. See a couple of rodons. Collector case. I have one of those that like mint at home that I bought years ago before I made the channel. This is great. Fisher Price. More Motu stuff in here. Ooh, you never see this guy ever. That's cool to see that. It is cool to see that. Um, more Fisher Price. And this table, I see Ghostbusters. What is this? Oh, just cards. Dang it. A wiffle ball, clearly been used. And I think, folks, that's going to do it for the basement crawl. You know, I there's just so much stuff down here that, you know, we can call what, what we just walked through an overview. <laughs> um, just because there's so much stuff and there's so much digging to be had. But, but what I did think was cool, the basement find for me down here. Oh, well, finds. We've got this guy. And I, can't, I gotta stop looking at the animated Batman stuff. Um, and the bootleg warriors, uh, whatever, wrestlers over here. For, Freudian slip there. So we're gonna take a couple of these that we missed upstairs, that weren't upstairs, along with this guy, and a successful basement trip. This place is friggin' nuts. Okay, guys, we are back in the TMC Mobile. And wow, what an adventure through the Imperial Castle here today. We were able to walk through the castle doors, tour the entire place, and then crawl through the castle dungeon. What an incredible experience. John, thank you so much for everything here today. I had such a wonderful time walking through your store, buying stuff, getting to know you a little bit. It was just a really nice experience. Your kindness, generosity and passion for this hobby completely blew me away. I came in with very high expectations and very high hopes off of very high recommendations, and you blew all of that out of the water. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. This is what the hobby is about, folks. Good folks, good people just like John running great businesses such as the Imperial Castle. I could not highly recommend this to any one of you guys that are in or around the Pauling, New York area. Make sure, be sure to go check them out. Uh, John also has an Instagram I will put in the description of this video below. Be sure to go check that out as well. Incredible stuff. I will be coming back here, like I mentioned to, to John, on a monthly cadence. Um, it just, there's so much stuff, as you guys saw. It's everywhere, and you have to... My, my biggest piece of advice, if you come to this store... Make sure you've blocked out a considerable amount of time so you can walk all the way through, take it all in, and then do it again, and be sure to go slow. Go slow because there is stuff packed into every little nook and cranny of this place, and if you have an opportunity to go downstairs, again, that's you can spend days down there in, that, in, in, the, in the castle dungeon. Unbelievable stuff. I will definitely be back. I highly recommend this place. Uh, to any and all of you, especially if you are into vintage stuff, uh, vintage toys, um, the some of just the oddball things that are that are in this place, just absolutely incredible. Also, it's definitely worthy to note. I know I mentioned at the beginning of this video that I was going to see how the store credit thing would go. Could not be happier. The stuff that I brought in, John worked with me. I did not wind up spending a new dime, a new dollar on any of the stuff that I picked up, we were able to do a fair swap for everything that I brought in, for everything that I took out, and I could not be happier. So thank you again, John. Be sure to check out the Imperial Castle guys if you're in the area. And that, folks, is going to do it. If you want to see everything that I picked up here today, I will be lumping in uh, this hall with the next toy hall that I will be... Um, filming any day now. I'm just waiting for one or two other things to come in. So I am going to add this 
into a, what is going to be a pretty epic toy haul coming to the channel very soon. So be on the lookout for that. And that, folks, is going to wrap it up for 2022. This time, it's for real. We're running out of days. It's Friday, uh, December 30th. We are officially running out of days in 2022. But what a way to end the year here on the channel. Could not be happier. This is exactly how we needed to end the year on this note with this video, with this hunt. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a very happy, safe, and blessed new year. And I will see you guys in a couple of days in 2023. Peace. Uh -huh.